Welcome back, Neil Lovers. Today we are checking out the uh, Epic Auto Towers, but this is going to be an early look at the full set that's going to be released later today. This is going to be a great little experience. This is all the towers that are released from the Inferno and from the chest. Now we've already had this one real fast, which I can do Ascension, but we're going to actually go into here and go into the well, and we're going to play with the Inferno Tower with all the new towers. Very excited for to kind of see what goes on with it. And looks like it has some new things as well, like the Inferno Tower. Once you gain 20 and all mana will be spent and you get the Honey Token. Looks like everything's been like adjusted to what the Inferno is. I think we'll start with the Nullification and we'll go with that. Now there's going to be new things in here that I don't even know about. Um, so we'll just have to go with what goes on and see what happens. I think we'll put the, that tower right there in front. Oh, I like the little new the new logo. I like the new little logo here. And the new sound effects. Oh, Sulfur Tower. When destroyed in battle, applies two poison on all monsters on the screen. When getting a potion, 25% chance to turn into Obsidian Tower. It's pretty good, actually. I don't want a potion on it, though, right now. I would like to get the Well Tower going. Well Tower is you get one mana beginning a round when standing next to an Inferno or a Well Tower. I will do the sulfur though. Because the poison's kind of cool. And we'll just buff our imp. That's a cool little animation. Very cool animation, actually. I'm going to definitely buy that. Definitely buy that. Definitely buy that. I'm okay with that. Sulfur's here. I'm gonna buy another well. Let's say the well gets normal. The amount of received mana doubles when leveled up. Oh, they've improved that too. So that's new. And that's new. Definitely a bunch of things. Ooh, a succubus tower. At the end of the turn, destroys the neighboring tower to the right and gains one regeneration. Whenever it has 10 or more regeneration, give all towers plus one to damage and plus one to HP. When it, <clears throat> excuse me, whenever it gets HP from regeneration, give the same amount of HP to the inferno tower. That's really quite good, actually. Reduces the cost of towers by one. If this tower is permanently removed from the field, inferno tower gains, oh. Well, that's a neat little build that you could do. So you could do this. And then you could do an imp. And then just build this. Ooh. Tough. Definitely go with that. I wonder if you can upgrade the imp. And it gives gives more, maybe. There's the portal tower. Cerberus. Ooh, just enough to kill. Damn. Ooh, what's the Tower of Promises? At the end of the turn, gives neighboring towers temporary bonuses, plus three plus damage, and plus three to health. Oh. I see what we have to do here. Do you see? With the Blade Tower. At the beginning of the round, gives plus one regeneration for each tower in the field with 100 or more HP. If there, are, if, if there is this tower in the field, regeneration is no longer reduced. To begin the round, if it has 100 or more regen, it, it gives plus 20 mana. Which is what, if any tower spends mana, this tower receives a permanent HP bonus equal to the mana 
spent. Mana infusion is considered a mana spending by Inferno. Upon leave reaching level 5 gains 5,000. What in the world? Ooh, did we survive this? We do. Okay. Ooh, Ifrit Tower. When infusing mana, it gains an additional one damage for every two points of infused mana. Minus one mana in the tower, or one, one tower in the tower store. When destroyed in battle, explodes to deal 20% of its damage to all monsters on the screen. At the beginning of the round, if there's exactly five towers in the tower store, it increases its damage by HP by 5%. Oh, this is going to eat it. Eh. So the root is really good here. And so is the imp. Does that still reduce the... Yeah, by two. Okay. Ooh, I hate that that took out that so early. What is the spire tower down? If there's at least one tower of a level five or higher in the field, at the end of the turn, the spire tower gets plus five damage and plus five. That'd be perfect if I had a level five. I mean, this is all experimental anyway, so. What's this do? At the start of the round, adds an imp tower to the tower store of every imp tower in the field. Adding imp costs two mana, but no more than five mana per round. There's a 2% chance to add an egg tower instead of an imp tower. If 66 towers are purchased from the tower store, this tower receives. Oh, wow. I mean, that's free. This would be great with the tower. Ooh, there's gonna be a lot of thinking with this game. Amazingly, we almost won that round for nothing. Like for knowing nothing, we almost know that we almost beat that round. All tower stores are uncommon. Let's go with the rare. So first two rounds I get less, and then the third round I get one more. Or I get a rare. So we definitely pit that. I wanna pit this here right now. And then I want to put Cerberus in the front. Put this here. I mean, I think I'm going to re-roll of some sort. I'll pitch you for here now. And then we're going to buff up Cerberus right now.
Ooh, I forgot about this one. Ah. At the start of the battle, cause cast one annoyance on one of the random neighboring towers. Minus one tower in the tower store. Turns the first rare tower in the tower store into a malicious tower. At the end of the turn, receive plus two damage, plus two if there are at least two malicious towers in the field. Okay. It's not going to work for me right now, but very cool still. I'm looking for a sulfur tower for right here. And then a way to get potions. Genie. When infusing mana, it gains an additional one for every two points infused. At the beginning of the round, there's exactly five towers and it increases its damage HP by 5%. Oh, a oh, plus one tower to the tower shop. That's why. So you get to mess with the genies. You get to play with the genies and you get to play with like all that stuff. Which I could do. Hmm. That's exactly it being around if there are exactly five towers. Yep, okay. So I do that and I do that. You're not going to do sulfur here. I want to see what happens here. I'm going to play with some of the new towers. Eh, I hate that you hit that. Devils, at the end of the turn, towers that reach level 6 or higher gain a permanent bonus of 6-6. Six, six. If the Devil's Tower itself has reached level 6, then this tower receives... Oh my gosh. I know what the Succubus does. Efrit. That's minus one. Actually, this would be a great buy because of the genie. And then around, if there's exactly five towers, it increases its damage HP of five. Yeah, so this is, I can go genies here. <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. This is sulfurs. I have no idea what I'm gonna build. I guess I'll build this for right now, and then I'm gonna do that. Is it the end of the round, beginning of the round? Let's see what happens with I Dream a Genie here. Oops, wait, 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 wait. I do want to roll one time. And then I'm just going to invest everything into that. Well, I could invest into the Cer Cerberus, too. Now we're good. We're fine. Ooh. Um... There's a smelter tower, which I love, but I want to just invest. I 
I'm just going to try and make this guy as big as possible. Because he's 5% right now. Ooh, what's this last thing? Canned token. Select the token on the field. Give the tower canned grace. At the end of the turn, the tower received canned food. Oh. I do like that, but I am going with the star. If there is this tower on the field, regeneration is no longer reduced. Oh, so this combined with a succubus is huge. What are you telling me? Oh, I mean, I have to, I have to. Oh no, plus two towers in the tower shop. No. Get the fire. About minus one tower in the tower shop. Um Was doing so well, damn it. Um, I mean, he's still grown. He's still grown. Ooh, the pot tower. Towers gain additional when opening rations. Let's do it. Since we haven't really done anything like that. Okay. He's not getting any bonuses right now, so I'm going to bump him up a little bit. Oh, that's it. Okay, so that's good to know. That's good to know. That's a good preview of that. <laughs> of the Ifrit Tower. And the Genie Tower. It's a really good move there. I like that. And then you have... Let's go back here. You have the other special games as well. Which is a whole bunch of different things you could do here. Hunger from Hell. Ration Tower, Fry Tower, and Pot Tower do not appear. Only regular towers appear. Mana Vortex. Inferno Tower is being placed by Whirlwind Tower. Whirlwind has three crowns and some of the properties of an Inferno. We filled with mana from the beginning of the game. The Tower Store, you find both towers in the Royal Pack and that. Oh, sorry with the stat. I mean, this is. This is a ton of fun stuff. Ton of fun stuff. Gain 300 mana before the final boss of the game, or the game will be lost. Well, Towers and Whirlwind Towers have three times damage and HP. Kind of cool. And then this one's not done yet, but this will be done soon, hopefully. Quite a cool little moment. Honestly, a lot of fun stuff. Uh, I'm excited for this game and the development, and I hope you guys get a chance. Um, if you guys see in the other videos, we ha we did do we did do that already. So we have done we have done um, there's the Ascension. Malicious towers sometimes appear in a tower shop. That's damn. Uh, we have done the regular towers before in videos where we've done them all. Uh, they are a little change in this version, but it's it's pretty much the same. If you've seen the regular towers, you've seen them. Uh, but past that point, yeah, this is outstanding. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much for joining me for the buffet. We'll help you find your next favorite indie. Peace.